No one has told you these three secrets about online dietitians. And you might be wondering, what's the biggest secret? And I keep that one for last. Now, the first secret includes the rise of an online dietitian. Now, there is a growing demand for online dietitians, even though this demand isn't as well documented as the demand for academic dietitians, clinical dietitians, and private practice dietitians who take insurance. Because online dietitians and online dietetics is so new, the documentation and statistics just really aren't there yet, but we can go ahead and look at the data that we do have and make assumptions about the secrets that dietitians don't really understand to help you make more money and create a flexible life. Online dietitians do work remotely and they conduct virtual consultations and they use technology to connect with clients such as meal planning software like EatLev or practice management software like Practice Better. So I wrote this article on nutrition coaching software featured in Forbes. And so if you want to check this out, the title is Understanding Nutrition Coaching Software. And I talk and show some stats about nutrition software delivering better client outcomes, incorporating AI, personalization, um, automating with the client experience, and then some challenges, right? So there's a learning curve, customization, and client education can be tricky when it comes to switching to software. So these are all things to consider as dietitians. Based on this visual, if you do a quick search of online dietitian, there are a ton of posts that come up because registered dietitians are promoting themselves online, on TikTok, on Instagram, and even on YouTube. So you can find that there are opportunities for you as well to use similar hashtags and show your face so that you can start promoting your products and services as a registered dietitian. Accessibility and convenience are big topics when it comes to the secrets about online dietitians. Through video calls, accessing meal plans, resources, and tracking through apps and looking at progress, well, telehealth is the future. And so knowing that there is statistically a rise of telehealth and there's an increase in demand for similar practitioners like therapists online, we can assume that there's also an increased demand for registered dietitians in an online capacity. It's cost effective because if you're working online, then you're not having to pay for an office. And it's also going to allow you to work more remotely, which is convenient for both you and your family and also for the person you're seeing on the other end because you're cutting that commute time out of the equation when they need to see you for whatever nutrition outcome they desire to achieve. And that flexibility is really attractive when you can book an online appointment at the convenience of the practitioner and the patient or client. Well, you've created a more accessible, flexible product or service, and that really helps people achieve their goals. Now, of course, this comes with some legal disclaimers, and we are not lawyers here at Dietitian Boss, although we do work with one, and we have her listed on the resource page of our website. So if you go ahead and check the resource page and click on information, you can buy contracts and seek legal advice about what you should do in terms of how you can operate between state lines as a practicing dietitian. We also offer in-depth resources about practicing across state lines inside of our programs and inside of our membership library as well. Now, the most important secret that a lot of dietitians don't know. Now, a really surprising truth about online dietitians that you might not know is what marketing actually looks like. I think a lot of dietitians assume that if they put themselves out there or promote themselves, then they should immediately get sales. And that's not exactly how it works. So bear with me and I'm gonna explain this concept. It's called seven marketing touch points. Making sales is not always a one, two, three process. Not everybody knows who you are. And those that do know who you are, well, they're not always ready to buy at that exact moment. Now, the rule of seven is a helpful concept that I like to teach. The rule of seven means that Consumers, the people that you're trying to market to, are flooded with messages on numerous devices and platforms. And that's why one advertisement or one email or one infographic that you create, it's just not enough. Prospects, meaning potential customers who you intend to serve, they need multiple touches before they'll actually act upon your call to action or whatever it is you ask them to do, like book a sales call or purchase your product or service directly. That means that it's gonna take some time and some effort and again, multiple touch points for people to really resonate with what you do. So don't give up too soon. That's just part of the marketing process. If you're wondering what a touch is, that could be seeing a social media post, 
meeting someone at an industry event, viewing a physical or digital ad if you use ads, receiving an email from, uh, let's say from us, or if you're sending out an email, seeing your logo, getting on a phone call, word of mouth marketing, and of course, video, social media marketing, posts that you are doing for blogs, et cetera, those all count as a touch point. It's more important now than ever to use online marketing to get your message across, increase visibility, really position yourself as an authority in the space of nutrition and dietetics. Now, just like anything good, it takes time to build your brand and it's going to take time for you to build trust. Again, seven touch points doesn't happen overnight. Now I'm hosting a webinar where I'm going to explain this and break down how you can increase those touch points even faster so that you can get closer to making a sale. I want you to register for that free webinar down in the description below and also make sure to check out this next video on screen.